Okay, I got it. All farm parks start with the country prefix. Usually, I think. Local and county parks are not included. Garden Towel, um, all those, uh, Penn, uh, Penn Park, they are not part of the parks on the air. And each park has been identified as the name of the park and has give, been given a K number or a VE number or whatever. Uh, James, could you click that got it button in the center of your screen? I did. Okay. By the way, we are recording as of about two minutes ago. Okay. I, I, yeah, I clicked the got it because it was blocking my screen. Okay, to, to get the information, you can go, you can just Google POTA and you know, everything will come up. Or you can go directly to the app, which is what I use, and, and sign up. Uh, any park that you've worked in the past for any reason will immediately appear in your hunter's log. So you got credit for anything back to 2014. Okay, let's go into a demonstration of the features. Let's see. Now, how do I get out of this? I go a new share, I guess. And I want to do, uh, do, 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 well, let's do this first. Um, I recommend you have an electronic log. This is mine. Um, it makes it a much simpler to uh, to check for a valid uh, park that you haven't worked. If you you can work a park more than once, but in my case, I'm trying to work separate parks. There are awards for working certain parks twenty times or whatever, but if I use um, N3FJP. The AC log, and as you can see, if I put a park in I haven't worked before, it'll show new. However, I have found that N3FJP is not infallible on this. If it says you have worked it before, it's right. If it says you haven't worked it before, it may not be right. I've found certain times it says it's a new park and got, I go in there and I've worked it three times or four. For some reason, certain times it does not pick it up. I do not know why, but I'll show you a simple way to double check it. So I recommend you use a, a electronic log to, to record everything in because it makes it easier to get everything in. Now, let's see. If I go to... I got to I got to get out of the PowerPoint like that and I need to get into my this and I need oops. Yeah, Jim, we're, we're seeing your log right now, Jim. Okay. I'm going to st stop screen share. Okay, and then I share again, and I think that'll show. Okay, are you seeing? Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, there's not many parks on the air this time of the night because parks usually close at sundown, except for maybe West Coast. But when they, this one is a good indication. When it, when it comes up, when you click on spots up here on the top green line, It'll bring you up all the parks that are, in this case, I have it set to 20 meter band, single side band, and everything else is just, I just take the default. It shows you that KN4MQR is at park K8326. It tells you where it is. It's the Apalachicola River State Conservation Area in Florida. He's on 14242. And he spotted himself, KN4MQR. He was last heard five minutes ago at 0035. Now, I will tell you something here that is important. If it's been over 10 minutes since he's spotted, he's probably not there any longer. He's probably closed down. He's gone to another park or whatever. 
In fact, five minutes, he may not be there any longer. Because usually they'll be respotted about every two to three minutes. Sometimes every 45 seconds. Also, it'll tell you right up here at the top, the data will refresh in 17 seconds. Let's just wait a second and see what happens. He may totally disappear uh, when it, uh, when it uh, refreshes. Five, four, three, two, one. Nope, he must still be there. Uh, but he was last heard six minutes ago. Now, if you hover over his name, his call sign, it will show everything that he's done. He's done 478 activations at 359 unique parks. He's had 10,520 QSOs. As a hunter, he has 646 unique parks with 1,038 QSOs. He has 39 award, awards earned and 74 endorsements earned. So you see, you can get a lot of things uh, uh, on this. Now, if you go, and my picture is right over it. Let me move that. In the, right, in the upper right-hand corner, there's my call sign. Everybody, am, am I with you so far? Okay. If I go to my awards and click it, it'll show you everything that I have won. I have, I got a, an award for 2,000 different units. If I scroll on down here, I, as of right now, I'm credited with 2,433 parks. I've gotten, I've worked all states. Do you have to apply for these awards or is it automatic? It's automatic. The computer does this and all you have to do is click on, on one of the awards. It'll pop it up and you can print it out. Uh, I don't think that I can show it. If I click on it, I don't think, I'm not sure whether it'll show it or not. Let's see. And it might, yeah, it might open. Oh no, it'll show it. And it opens. You see the award? Yes. Okay. okay. Am I am I the only one that this looks highly addicting? <laughs> yeah, it, it gets that way. Uh, today was a, um, a kind of a poor day. I only works. I only worked seven today. Yesterday I worked thirty five. Um, in a weekend I've been doing seventy or eighty, or a weekend. Okay, how did I get rid? Do of you that? mainly use? the parks on the air website for spots yes or do you... yes. yes only use parks on the air for spots let's see wow here, here we go have a get out of it now here's the neat thing if you can hover on your call sign up in the corner you can get your stat your st uh, stats but you have a hunter log if you click on the hunter's log it gives you a log book as recorded at Parks on the Air. So it shows you everything I have worked. Now, if you're not sure whether you have worked, if, if you have a call sign comes up on, on uh, okay. your electronic log that you're not sure whether you're working, you can put the, the number in here. Let's say K2345. Hit enter, and it says no data. So I haven't worked that park number. Uh, let's see if I can just, well, I can back up here, uh, hunter log again. Is this an annual event? Nope. This has no, been, it's just not too late for Bob Romanko to start. It. <laughs> now, this has been sort of, uh, identified as a contest that started in 2014 and never ends. <laughs> okay, so it's not too late. It's not too late. Well, I can tell you that if I would have seen this a month ago, I probably uh, would have never accepted the nomination for president of the uh, <laughs> Alpha <laughs> Amateur Radio Club. Because I, I would spend every breathing second. I'm not at work for UVA uh, chasing these. This, this is new to me totally. I, who else is this new to? Where you've never been to this site and you've never seen this? I mean, no, this no. is like everybody. If, if you're a, and you don't have to do any work except work the station. By the way, you know what I like about this is I, I don't be able. I don't need to have a, you know, a twenty thousand dollar antenna rig, because I need to be able to get to South Korea 
That's to right. Win a contest. You know, I think I can make it to California. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, California. West Coast is good from about two thirty in the afternoon on. Right now, in the mornings you'll be New England and uh, the East Coast. It'll, it'll gradually uh, go into the mid Midwest and just like the sun, just gradually move to the west. So can I ask a stupid question? That's what I and want you to do. That my question is this. Uh, you're working stations. So does this, would the, I mean, if you worked all states here, you pretty much would qualify for worked all states with the ARRL, right? Absolutely. And in, in fact, every, every day or about every day, when I finish, it's all my AC law. When I finish for the day, I upload it to the ARRL immediately. They're probably since I've since I've been working this diligently since about the fifteenth of July, I've probably uploaded uh, probably three thousand contacts, and I and I'm sure the other guys are doing the same thing. And the ARL is probably saying, "Where did all these contacts suddenly start coming from? We haven't had that many contacts." Right, and, and it's just fair to it say that they're for sideband, CW, and digital. Or yep, you can do it all. Um, if you go to spots here. For example, I can change the mode to FT8. Oh, okay. And there's and can, N6BFG is on uh, 14074. Okay, would anybody like to vote for the 8040? Say again? Is it 80, 20, 40, or just 20 nope. meters? Nope. You can put all bands. Right now, we only have people on 80, 40, and 20. Okay. Because wow. They're probably so it's, let's, see, let's see. No, they're. There's two, there's two stations there on 80, one's on 3843. This guy, this guy operates, I think, all the time in Alabama. It's kind of late in Alabama to be out in a park. The, the guy in West Virginia is now QRT, as you notice. He last heard 23 minutes ago, so he shut down. So, so this is a dynamic site. This site yeah, will show it, you right. uh, it'll this site will show you the filters that are only active. So right. when you pick the band, it'll only show you those bands that somebody is That's right. Or, is or active. you can do this, you can do, do all bands and they'll put everything out. But I, I usually just do one band at a time. This, so this yeah, is you have good. a station here on um, in Canada right now on 7266. Uh, you got one on 75 meters in Alabama. You have another one in California on 72.72. And, you know, there's a, a number on. And then these are that are grayed out have gone QRT. And they've, they've probably reported themselves QRT. This guy says fingers got too cold. <laughs> So, so when you so you go to this website and you tell them I'm now starting from this park, right? Right. If you go to the website and they'll probably tell you, I'm trying to remember because it's been a good while. They'll probably they won't recognize you, so they'll say log in or set up a uh, account. And all as I, as I remember, all that's required. Let me see my stats. I think nope, that's not it. Uh, my account, uh, your name, your display name, your QTH, and your email. And if you have a starting date, which I didn't put a no, no start date, no end date. So like I say, it's a contest that will mm -hmm. run forever. Kind of like that guy up in Boston riding the subway. But uh, how does it work, Jim? Because at many parks, a person won't have internet capability. Let's say if I'm at a park, I might not have internet capability to spot. Uh, so yes, I have to call. You got, you, you got a uh, cell phone? So I call somebody up and say, could you spot me, right? You can do it that way, or you can just you can just go to the site, use your uh, uh, Siri or whatever on your cell phone uh, and and log into the site, and you can, you can, you um, can, Spot, let me think. Uh, oh, yeah, that's of course. Where's the spot? I forgot. Oh, right here under my call sign, add spot. When, once you bring up the website on your cell phone, you can just add spot. And if I want to, I'm not going to do it, but I'll click add spot and it'll allow you to, you know, I, the activator call sign, which I'm not, here, my spotter call sign. 
it would be the same. The frequency I'm going to operate on, the park I'm I'm going to be in, and then I hit spot. So I can spot myself or somebody else. You can also uh, have somebody you talk to on the radio, one yep. of your QSOs, spot for you. Right, right. Yeah. I've heard guys do that. In fact, I've done that for several guys. One well, guy Jim, said, I heard him Jim, calling CQ, and he said he didn't have access to the cell phone so uh, to the site, so I just, just spotted him. Jim, if you uh, if you could, would you give us just an example of what a typical QSO might go like? Uh, just off the top of your head, if you could, like, wh what does it sound like when they're calling okay, CQ, I'll, I'll, and how do you return? Uh, I'll call. Let's let's, let's go use this guy. I'd say uh, I call W seven. If he'd say QR, uh, uh, he'd say um, QRZ or whatever CQ POTA. And I'd say uh, W. I'd say K4CGY, and he'd come back uh, K4CGY. You're you're uh, five nine and I. You're five nine in Idaho. You may not say the park number, because you probably figured if you you probably use the the uh, app, but he might come back and say uh, you're five nine Idaho in park K4576, and I come back and say. Uh, a QSL, you're five nine in Virginia, and he'd come back and say thank you seventy three, and that's it. Perfect. So you know, basically, uh, basically similar to field day, they just right. identify as POTA. Okay. Right. They identify as POTA. They may or may not give their every, to every person. They may not give the number of the park, but somebody who didn't use the app may ask them for the number of the park. Gotcha. And maybe every ten or twelve contacts, they'll say the number of the park. Otherwise, they just say uh, you're five nine in Idaho. In fact, I wonder. Let's see. Give me a second here. The beam is pointed towards Idaho. 7255. Let's see if I can hear anything. Okay. And I'm going to take bets on whether Jim gets them or not. <laughs> he's there. He's there, but he's very weak. Park to park, park to park. You hear that? Park to park. Park to park. Park to park, two parks working each other. They get bonus contacts for working each other. <laughs> now, let me do something else. Uh, that's a neat twist. You notice this little three bars up here at the left. That brings you up a menu. You click on the menu, you can get the top activators. Okay. Ooh, I know this guy very well. He used to be a, a, a county hunter. Uh, you notice he has put 1,873 activations out. He's had a, a 118,073 QSOs. This, this is Bob. But what I wanted to do is, where's the top actuator? Do, 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 do. No data. <laughs> Not one data uh, QSO. <laughs> didn't, it didn't come up like I thought it was. Let's see, top Top hunters. The top hunters is what I'm looking for. Let it come up. The top guy has 10,229. Okay. That's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to beat the heck out of him. It's going to take me at least two years, I figure. Right. And of which time he'll be moving ahead also. But Jim, is that distinct parks or distinct contacts? Distinct parks. Wow. Yeah, he's had 26,000 QSOs. 14,000 of them have been phone. 4,274 CW. Now, if we scroll down here to about 260 something. No, it's not that far. 230 something. I should be right in here somewhere. I mean, it's 228. There it is. There, there I am. I've had, at this point, 24, 27 credited, so I'm number 233. I'm number 233 out of 26,922 operators. Hmm. And when, when did I get it? A lot of statistics here. Yeah. And, it, and your awards, there's all, like I say, there's all kinds of awards. 
There's the late shift hunter contacts. I've had 20, 326 late shifts. Um, of course, anything that has to do with activator is great because I haven't activated anything. Um, here's here's some of your references that you work. For example, I've worked 116 out of the 217 parks in Texas. I wouldn't brag about 163 that. 163 out of 416 in Florida. You know, you've got all kinds of statistics that they're letting that computer spit out for you. The Trail of Tears Historic Park. Mountain to the Sea Trail. I've worked 1,800 of 20. I get an award at 20. I don't know how to work them. I don't know whether I work the same K number. I don't think I do. I think I work a different K number that's on the trail because the trail has is, runs through different parks. And that's another thing. You can work three parks at a time. If there's two, if there's one park inside of another park with a trail crossing through it and a fishing pond, you can have three or four <laughs> at that at the time. So Jim, you could work all states just on sideband, or you could do it on a combination of modes. I've, I've done it all on sideband so far. But, but you could do it in, if you work the same park five times. Does it have to be five different operators, or could it no. be the same operator multiple times? Same operator. I'm, I'm not sure you get credit for the same operator. That I don't know. See here it says repeat or repeat offender act activator. Activate a park twenty times and you re earn a repeat offender award. So he can operate. The same park 20 times and get an award. Uh, I think I can do the same thing as a hunter on certain parks. Um, Interesting. Hey, hey Jim. 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 Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Warren. Oh, you mean me? Yeah, go if ahead. You, yeah, if you go to your yeah. uh, call sign on the upper right, yeah. go to go to stats, my stats. Yeah. Click on that, and uh, it'll give you each of the states and everything you've worked. If you click on each line, it'll break it down to what part. Yeah. And then click on it again. The next, the drop down menu. Oh, uh, no. go, to, go to one up to yeah, Hawaii. Bring up that park, and you can click on that park, and it'll bring up the data for that park with a yep. map. Mm. Interesting. Wow. Th this is the latitude and the longitude, the early shift award times, the late shift award times, the website, how you access it by automobile, or you can do it by as a pedestrian. It's an active site. The first activator in this case, since it's Italy, was by I4RHP on December 2nd, 2022. It had one activation. By the way, there is a park. I don't remember the number, but it's local. Uh, down out of Scottsville, a little one. I never even knew it was there until I, I got on this. You know, I, I just want to say something that I think is extremely relevant about this. I can't think of a better tool or a better motivation to get a technician to go from tech to general and maybe even extra than, than this right here. I, I Because yeah. I can tell you from a, a demographic perspective, you know, young, younger AMs with all the data and all the integration, everything being automatic and uh, just the way this all ties together in a real, really, I mean, I've been involved in internet programming since 1995. This is one of the most beautiful, beautiful web experiences I've ever seen, period. I, I'm totally taken back. I yeah. wouldn't say I'm speechless because you all know me too well. <laughs> but I can tell you that this, honestly, people think about this. Think about how appealing this is to a, a, a person just out of college or just the, you know, the generation that is excited about data and statistics and you know everything this has to offer this is huge yeah and uh i i could see this easily you know right. there needs to be a presentation at the end of uh 
the last class of every technician's class, they need to see this. <laughs> and it, it keeps the bands active too. It, it, yeah. it does, this does many things. Because I can tell you, as I'm, I'm a relatively new ham. I mean, I, most of you, I don't know if you know that or not. I, I'm an old fart, so I, got, I just got a notice from the QCWA, my 65th uh, year certificate I could download. Hey. <laughs> so what, what I'm saying, guys, is I'm a relatively new ham. And when I started out, I lived in Alaska. And when I had a, a call sign of, uh, you know, uh, when I had an Alaskan call sign, you know, I had no problem with DX because everybody in the world wants to talk to Alaska, literally. Okay. Right. Soon as I moved down here, <laughs> I changed my call sign to AK. I went from Kilo Lima for Charlie Oscar to AK4 BR and Alaska for Bob Romanko, if you never figured out my call. But the, the reason, and since doing that, now I'm kind of intimidated. Now I feel like I got to put up a beam. I got to look at DX watch and I have to compete against guys with 1500 watt linears, yeah. you know, triple stack Yagi's, you know, and I'm trying to break through a pile up with hundred Watts and a wire. And this to me is extremely appealing. Right. And, and may I also add that with a few exceptions, I have never worked any of these stations with more than hundred Watts. See? A couple of times I've turned the linear on because I really, well, the, the Hawaiian station, I really wanted to get. And the um, West Coast was just overbearing. So I turned the uh, linear on to get through the West Coast uh, den there, so to speak. But every, just about, I'd say 99% has been worked at 100 watt. Guys, Jim, who wrote this software? Was it a team or one individual? um that i'm not sure i'd have to go look back at the history there's one guy i think he's in pennsylvania if i'm not mistaken maybe it might be new york but somewhere up in that general area uh that runs the system and jim, can, I think jim. There's more than one person that's doing it but i don't i don't know who is does it does it tell me here and somewhere i'm not sure this is uh this is good it stuff makes, right? uh, or it's on the air.com. Let's try that. See what happens. I was surprised. I just typed in the poda.app on my browser. And instead of getting a whole bunch of preliminary information, it immediately popped up with, you know, with uh, call signs and, and information about who was available. There was, there was no pretense of you got to start somewhere it just boom it just went straight into it so it's right, very nice right. and right. then it's asking you do you want to sign up and things like that hey, if you have someone in your log that you're saying you'll get automatic credit if it agrees with the time period that person activated that park if if the guy sent a log in to parks on the air with your call sign in it you'll be when you log in for the first time, you'll admit your hunter's log will immediately be filled. I, so I, when I first the, signed into it uh, back, back in, in July, I guess it was. I had call signs back from 2014 that were in there. Jim, I thought the digital software was mind boggling, written by a group of three or four people. This is even more complicated and impressive. Yep, it is. Okay, here we go. Can you all see this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jason Johnston is uh, the administrator and the owner, W3AAX. And yeah. they have quality insurance teams helping with the upload of logs based on your call sign. And they also would like you to donate if you want to give a little money to help them out please consider making a contribution to defray our overhead costs paying for lyf yeah i would like to comment here relative not just to this really superbly done software package but also uh for three or four or five other software packages 
that are uh, in uh, use by uh, so many people out there in, in the uh, ham radio uh, community. And y'all better support them because what this shows is, well, this is uh, uh, developed by this guy. And when he dies, there's not going to be anything going on. Same thing with uh, WSTJX. Uh, when they do, what's going to happen to them? So uh, a few months ago, I saw a little tiny blurb from the AWRL uh, looking for comments about whether or not the uh, AWRL should uh, support these uh, software packages that are so much in demand in order to keep them going after the demise of the, the uh, developers. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to hear your comments on that, Jim. I think that's a good idea. Now, in, in the case of this one, there's so many people involved in it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned about parks on the air. But something like the NJ, N3FJP suite, if something happens to him, I don't know whether he has anybody. Uh, no, his son, I think. Okay, maybe I, I didn't know he had a son, but okay. Yeah, and, and have it, a picture of his son and a wife. So initially, somebody would take over. But, hey, Jim, can I ask a question with regard to N3FJP? Uh, I see how you did all the contacts there with uh, the software with uh, POTA, but how does that transfer to your N3FJP? uh amateur log okay let me let me uh go back to let me think how do i get back photo spots here's what i do i have both the app up and and the uh log up as different tabs okay right. okay i simply go up when i'm, I'm looking for a station I just highlight and copy the uh, the park. Then I take it all. Then I, I scroll over, click on the uh, on the log sheet, and paste it in, paste it into uh, Poda. Yeah, I don't know whether you're seeing this or not. Yeah, paste yeah, it yeah. In, Paste it into Poda. Yeah. Okay. Now it says I've worked it, but let's say it. Uh, let's say I haven't. I can make it show that. Uh, I, then I go back and I say. Copy his call sign, and I remember. Okay, he's on seventy-two, seventy-eight. I go over and paste his call sign in, and then I go to seventy-two, seventy-eight, and give him a call. Well, of course, I hit the space bar first, and that bring fills in all the data. Mm. And I go, I call him when I uh, I work him. He'll say, uh, I'll give him maybe a a five-five, and he'll give me a a five-seven. I'll change the sent and receive. And once I worked him and say 73, I clicked the time off and then I hit long contact. Wow, okay. But I'm not gonna log this one, so. Oh, thank you, thank you, that's good to know. That's the way I do it. All, right. all, all I have to do is keep clicking on the icon down here on the bottom and it tabs back and forth between the two screens. Right. And like I say, I can, I can, I can do a contact every 30 seconds if I, if they're ones I need, maybe. Well, it depends on how many people's calling him. All right. Does uh, anybody have any more questions for Jim? This has been outstanding. I want to know how much competition you're going to give me. Uh, <laughs> well, I got, this little, hey. I got this little detail of being president of the club for the next year, but I'll so, see so you tomorrow. Mom, get, get on, sign in. And since you're new, almost every park you work will be new. Mm. Right. So you have to check and see if they're new necessarily until you get up to around four or five hundred. And <laughs> you can, tomorrow you could if you spent three hours, you could easily work 150 parks. Tomorrow. So like every day is field day. This is bad for me. <laughs> it's a never ending contest. <laughs> well Jim, are the hams typically in mobile or they're setting up dipoles or all the above? Uh, some some of them are just having the car parked there and using a uh, a ham stick or, or something, or others throw a quarter a um, halfway van fed up in the trees using um, 
a battery to a uh, FT817 at five watts. I heard I heard a guy uh, this afternoon. I didn't work him. He was he was in uh, Idaho running two watts. Worked the park in in Canada, and I was copying about a five by two. So they'll run anywhere where from a watt to a hundred watts. Very seldom are they running more than a hundred watts. Even though there's one guy, I told him, I said, you're, you're running a Texas kilowatt. Well, he, he was literally 40 over in here. All right. And, you know, and I, I found one thing, I, and I think I know the answer to it. I get a lot of guys that say, you're five, nine plus, you're 10 over. And, you know, I'll, I'll, there'll be, 10 people calling and he'll come back to me. And I think it's because I'm using separate dipoles for each band rather than a multi-band dipole. I think I have a little more efficiency than some of the others. Just a guess. I don't know. But I Jim, you're using your Yagi on 2015 and 10, right? And 12 and 17 and 40. It covers everything. 10 through 40. Hey, Jim, uh, just curious. Uh, where do most of the uh, activators uh, locate? Are they on uh, single sideband CW or FTA? What's the breakdown all, all there? Of the, all of the above, but there's probably more sideband than there is FT8 and CW. All right, thank you. We're on everything. In fact, there was even some ready the other day. So you just have to look at the app. The, the app will, you can go to data, and right now everything is FTA. Jim, I read that allegedly about seven, last year about 70% of uploaded QSOs to Logbook of the World were digital contacts. And they're saying as a result of parks on the air, that's changing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. Which is good. I mean, I'm not an FTA person. If anybody wants to operate, that's fine. It's a good I night. know. That's why I always give you a hard time whenever I'm on uh, Monday Night InfoNet. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just never warmed to FT8. In fact, I've never really got I've never gotten the program running. I used to use some of the others. I still use Ready a little bit. Nobody's on PSK anymore. Yeah. So, well, that's about it. Unless you want to have more questions on it or want some more, figure out some more things of which I'm not aware of. I, I don't know everything about this program. There's there's a lot there's a lot of a lot of different parts to this program. For example, the park list. There's your parks. Afghanistan, by the way, has no parks. <laughs> but did you know Antarctica has 36 parks? Hey Jim, do you do you find that there's a better time of day to work parks on the air than other times? Yes. The best time I have found is 8 a.m. until about 5 p.m. After five, they start getting less and less on the air. Before eight, I'm not up. Is that, is that because of your time frame, or is that because of uh, uh, the people not doing parks on the air anymore? Propagation, probably. Uh, and propagation. Now, I'm sure if I got up at 4 a.m., I could probably work many more parks in Europe. Hmm. All right. Okay, that's that's what I was looking for. Thank you. And, and this is just this is worldwide, uh, is it not? Because you're talking, yes. it's not just the East Coast and, and or with the U.S. and uh, Canada. It's the whole world, if you will. Right. Okay. That's right. Um, let's see where was it? Uh, the, the, the park list. Uh, if we go down to say, yeah. let's say India. There's 136 parks in India. Hmm. So you're going to, uh, 
India is going to be sometime during the day is probably going to be best for India. Indonesia There's, will be best in the late evening. If the I, Isle of Isle of Man, can you check that? Did it say zero? I can't uh, quite read it. Isle of Man, there's no parks in Isle of Man. No, but, all right, interesting, interesting. interesting isn't it? But look at Italy, 1,613 parks. Yeah. That's why I'm saying you'll never run out of parks to work. Um, let's go to, uh, where is it, Canada. Canada has 6,079 parks. Mm. United States, where is it? There it is. United States has 9,772 parks. How about Virginia? Virginia has, your STUV, Virginia has 176. Right. Well, Jim, you're going to be right busy for the next uh, 200 years, right? You're right. You're right. I'll never work them all. I mean, with the county hunters and the counties, you can work them all. Some have worked them eight and ten times. I still need two to get my first time. But uh, hey, as far as parks on the air, forget it. You'll never work it. Now, if you really want to do something, work summits on the air because every little hill in the United States has a summit number. Hey, Jim, congratulations, sir. I, I'm really impressed with all that you've done so far in just uh, six or seven, eight months. That's really right. something. I think last uh, 15th of July, I think I had 100 parks credited. So I've done about, this number is not quite accurate. This is probably around uh, 20, probably 2460, maybe 2470 right now. There's a lot of people haven't gotten their logs in. Uh, but uh, I've done, I've done about uh, roughly 2400 since this. Middle when you July. when you say people have not gotten their logs in, what do you what do you mean? How do they do that? They they upload them to uh, uh, Proto. Just these like are the these them. are the these are the activators, not the hunters. The activators, the guys I've worked because some okay. of them probably only load them uh, upload them once a week or something like that if they're yeah. on the road. Wait until they get home. Right. Yeah, it's too bad it it's too bad it doesn't do 10 meters or six meters so it does let the technicians out but it does. Uh, it but does. i wish all the websites looked this good though yeah it does it does 10 meters. they do 10 meters and six meters um just as i don't do it it's not on the air right now but two meters uh, also hmm? two meters also oh yeah yeah it does it's yeah. all bands but yep. uh, there's not that it's not as many on um most, like I say, most of it is done 40 and 20 meters. Hmm. I've done quite a few 15, quite a few 10, a lot of 12, some 17s, a few 80s. Good incentive to get your general. Yeah. So that's it. Folks. All righty. Well, uh, everybody, let's give Jim a round of applause. <laughs> Come off mute, give him a clap. Uh, that was excellent. And uh, I'm, uh, I just want to end the meeting and fire up my rig. <laughs> uh <laughs>